Greetings flower lovers. This is Esther and you've reached the flower channel. Thanks so much for joining me today to soothe your soul and warm your heart with the beauty and healing magic of flowers. So here's the flowers from the farmer's market. I put them in an old fashioned pickle jar. I like to use more vintage vases and I have a huge collection of vases and you can do a lot of collecting of vases at thrift shops, garage sales, but if you're going to use garden type flowers like this, an old fashioned pickle jar is really fun. It's a fun, a fun container and I have just placed the flowers in the vase and really spread them out. And there's a technique that I use, you know, to, ha to have a little bit more of a natural organic feel, which these flowers of course are asking for. But I like to have flowers that are deep inside the arrangement and then flowers that are more out, sticking farther out. And that gives like an inside outside feel, which is how they naturally go in the, grow in the garden. So you have a feel of Oh yeah, I have brought the garden into my house. Now this type of arrangement you would have as a display, you wouldn't probably use it as a centerpiece where you're eating because you know what happens to flowers if they're too tall on a centerpiece, they'll be put somewhere else. So if you want to actually have your flowers remain as part of your eating centerpiece, we're going to split these flowers up and make a whole bunch of little centerpieces uh, to use. I'm going to be actually using these flowers at a, at a dinner tonight. So it's going to be long, narrow tables, and I have about 10 vases, and we're going to split the flowers up so that they can be used as individual vases down the center of the table. And let's take a look at what that's going to look like. Okay, so I've taken out the little button fever few and I put them I have two four six I have two four six eight little vases and they're little like old-fashioned milk jugs because again they give that nice gardeny feeling and I'm not gonna make them all exactly the same but I had enough fever few to like spread around in these individual Vases. So I start with that. That's the first Next step. I put in the dianthus. Now each vase doesn't have to look exactly the same. And in fact, it shouldn't. You should have like a feel of a garden. And sometimes there's more in one space than another. Maybe this one doesn't even have any dianthus in it. That's okay because when they're spread out all along the table, they're going to look interesting. You want to make sure that you cut your stems before you put them in the vase, I just use the scissors. You can use a knife, but scissors is probably a little safer. Okay, that's the next step. Ah, uh, now they're starting to really take on some interest, right? I've added some branched sunflowers. And you want to keep your arrangements really loose. Don't pack them in there for this particular look, because this is a garden, a gardeny look. And you also want to be thinking, these are going to be on a center place table. Don't make them too tall because you want people to be able to look at the heads, the faces of the flower. Okay, so now I've added the sunflowers. Now, if you're making arrangements that are to be centerpieces, you want to cut your sunflowers really short. Don't be afraid to cut them really short so that it's the head because it's the face of the sunflower that is really the interest, not the stem. So this is what the centerpieces are all gonna look like. And they have a little bit of, each one has like a sunflower. This one has something slightly different. This is a composite related to sunflowers, but it's nice to have a little, you know, where everything doesn't look exactly the same because nothing in nature is exactly like anything else. You wanna celebrate diversity. It's one of the things that flowers teach us. Now I'm making, I'm taking the, the rest of the flowers from the farmer's market and I'm putting them, because these are going to go on the food table, so the buffet table. 
So I have this old fashioned milk bottle and I have my Bubby's sauerkraut vase, which I really love because <laughs> it's gonna be a very informal uh, event tonight at the synagogue. Our attorney general is gonna be speaking and Colorado attorney general, Phil Weiser. And um, so we're gonna have some Jewish food. So here's some Bubby's sauerkraut jar and you can use food containers like that you know, use your fun anything that can hold water can hold flowers this one i have sunflower red hot poker beautiful burgundy lily these i've cut a little shorter here to get the flower interest more than the stem because the stems of these flowers aren't that interesting now i've also collected from my yard some purple loose strife which some people call toxic weeds but oh come on gorgeous how can anything as gorgeous be a toxic weed I use them in arrangements so let's see let's see how they peach out these <laughs> little buffet pieces so you see what happened here how that purple loose stripe just added that bright color and it just softened the whole arrangement here we go too it gives it some movement and um, just a lovely other element and these are ready to go to the party. Yeah. They're ready to go. I've, they're gonna be delivered to another location besides my kitchen. So I have packed them in this tub. And make sure that there's towels in there so they can't move around when you're driving. Here are my two bigger arrangements. I put them in a pot. <laughs> put some towels in there, make sure it doesn't fall over. And drive. And, and here's Arthur resting after a Job well done, Arthur. Thanks for joining me on the Flower Channel. Bring beauty, love, magic into your life with flowers.